hey, let me say something. If you're a fan of any of the teams from the NFC North, this episode's for y'all. I got a special guests with me, my homie Mike Williams and my brother Isaac joining the show today. And we're gonna take a get into each and every team from the NFC North. Each team is gonna take a get a grade based off of the free agency moves that they've been doing. Stick tuned, cause you don't wanna miss this one. It's time to tune in, now the another sports center. It's a movement. We're gonna get right into the drama. We're gonna get into the nasty food that gave you diarrhea, the Chicago Bears. Andy Dalton, one year, 10 million. It has a max value of 13 million. Um, shouts out to my homie, the podcast, uh, The Bears, Brews, and Bros, and shouts out to Moneyline Media, uh, two of my really close uh, Chicago Bear homies, real cool. Uh, check out, make sure y'all subscribe to them. Um, but man, I, I, I'm not happy. I'm about as pissed off as y'all are about this, man. I mean, I see this beautiful defense. You know, it, it, it's like, it's like a pretty girl with a crappy attitude. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh yeah, you 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 got you got all the looks, you got everything that you need to take and win on defense. But when it takes and it comes to offensive side of the ball, your quarterback plays suck. I mean, I question the coach. I I, I just I, I feel I, I feel like someone is paying uh, uh, Pace. Uh, I believe it was Coach Pace. I believe his name is. Um, it's taking paying him to sabotage the Chicago bears. He might be like a secret Vikings fan or something like that. Um, but uh, anywho, uh, sorry with the negative slander overall, there are a lot of signings that I do like Damian Williams. He, uh, he actually opted out, but played for the Kansas city chiefs. Um, and he won a super bowl and he put in years of hard work for the Miami dolphins, a very garbage Miami dolphins, Damian Williams. He, you're not going to get a boring season out of him. Lots of fun to watch. Allen Robinson really thought he was going to hit the free agent market. They actually hit him, uh, hit, hit him with a deal for one, uh, one year, five million. Uh, they have a few other good names here. Mario Edwards Jr., really great pickup right there. Uh, Desmond Trufant, Artie Burns. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of safety. Uh, yeah, two safeties, cornerback. Um, I'm loving everything that I'm seeing here as far as that goes. But again comes down to that that Andy Dalton signing I'm just I don't I don't know what they're thinking right there so um overall um definitely gonna have to give them a b minus um loving what they're doing on defense but we'd love to take and see uh some more stars on off on the offensive side of ball so b minus is what I give them uh Detroit I love what they're doing on the coaching side but we're not grading coaches we are grading players today so if it's coaching I'm like man y'all got Deuce Staley you got the dude who everybody calls the Hulk they don't even know his real name he's like a tight ends coach um i mean they got i see detroit in for a huge culture change uh but jared Goff, man I, he's definitely not better than what they had before but maybe a change of scenery will perhaps do him better um de definitely love love the pickup uh some of the pickups that they take they have here they got josh hill uh they picked up charles harris who's absolutely garbage um he used to play for the miami dolphins and really just wasted three years of our time um i really love romeo aquara really great pick up there um but overall uh from what i see here i'm gonna give him a c minus you know what i mean it's really because jared goff and what he brings he's been to a super bowl but again will the change of scenery be good for him maybe maybe not uh hopefully he had a wake-up call and i mean the dude the dude got absolutely paid uh you know by the rams but i i don't know well we'll, we'll see if he plays good you know i could see him being for a long time if not then, hey, on to the next one. But, yeah, de def definitely a lot of players upside there. Um, and then, then we got the Green Bay Packers, three people, Kevin King, Mercedes Lewis, and Aaron Jones. The Aaron Jones, he is ar arguably, you know, top three best running back in the league based off of last year's numbers. The dude absolutely balled out. Um, I mean, four-year contract, $48 million. Very exciting. Um, overall, I'm going to take and give them a, uh, I'm going to give them a C plus. I, I don't see Aaron Rodgers being able to carry the team to another Super Bowl if they don't add more offensive weapons. I feel like he needs just as much tender loving care as some of these folks like Teddy Bridgewater and stuff like that. Not saying he's on that skill level, but he needs a lot more weapons. I mean, you see over in Washington, they're making moves. They have a lot more weapons than what they had last year. I mean, why can't Aaron Rodgers take and have that in Green Bay? I know the weather sucks, but hey, they they, they contended for a chip. Why why wouldn't why are something's happening in Green Bay? Why they're not bringing more uh, stars over there? Um, obviously, Aaron Rodgers is getting older, but the guy wants a chip. I, I just I'm hoping that they address that in this year's draft. I'll just take and leave that with that. Uh, Minnesota Vikings. Um, 
you know, I, I uh, I've had friends growing up where they would got the brand new PlayStation when it came out and stuff like that. And I remember being ungrateful at Christmas that my mom spent $30 on the Dollar Tree and got me 30 different things, dollar store presents. So when I see signings like Amir Abdullah, Chad Beebe, I mean, it's just, what is this? These are, This is dollar store gifts. This sucks. This absolutely sucks. What is it that I'm looking at here? You know what I mean? Oh, Stephen Weatherly. What? I mean, come on, man. This is this is garbage, man. They're, they're trying to tank on purpose, man. They're trying to get a quarterback high next year. Uh, I, I can't take the Minnesota Vikings seriously. I can't even look at them without having disgust in my stomach. Um, overall, I'm going to take in, uh, though they got a few depth signings and I do take in like that, I'm going to give them a solid D. That's what I got. Yeah, I think that's kind of rough, man. I think I, I like I like a, little, a few of the moves the Vikings made. Patrick Peterson moving on from the Cardinals, but I think he's still going to be a solid contributor for them. Dalvin Thomason is going to be a phenomenal D tackle for them. So I would have gave them um, – I gave them like a B minus, you know what I'm saying? Um, the the Packers, I agree. I, I really think they needed to add a tackle. They needed to add a receiver. They needed to add another corner. Uh, Kevin King's going to be okay, only $6 million re-signing, but I think they could have upgraded that position. You look at what some of these other teams paid, I think they could have done a little bit more. And you're 100% right. They need a tight end receiver. I like Aaron Jones. He, his game's going to be there a while, but I, I'd give them a C, you know. Um, the Lions, man, um, I understand the Jared Goff move because uh, they it was more of a respect to Matt Stafford, get him maybe winning. And I think getting Jared Goff, so you know you got your starting quarterback, and they got two first round picks and a third round pick, you know, for getting rid of Matt Stafford. Like, I think that was good. You got a starting quarterback, two first round picks. And a, I think that was a good move for them. Um, uh, Tyrell Williams, when he plays well at receiver, um, he's not a Kenny Galladay, obviously. But um, if he's playing well, he's a solid number two receiver. Um, Michael Brockers, I liked a lot. That trade with the Rams for him, I like that a lot. He's definitely going to be their best defensive lineman, in my opinion. Uh, I would give them a solid B. Uh, because they did some moves for now and a few things helped them out in the future. And then the Bears, man, like, I'd give them the grade you gave the Vikings. <laughs> I'd give them a D, man, like Andy Dalton. And then you say, hey, and then, see, it's not just signing Andy Dalton. Uh-huh. It's signing Andy Dalton and saying Andy Dalton's our number one quarterback. Like, then you're saying you're not making the playoffs is what you're doing at this point in his career. Um, Elijah Wilkinson, I think, is he was a Broncos player, very good swing tackle you know, one of the better swing tackles in the NFL, good backup player. Allen Robinson, I'm sorry, uh, he wants out of there. He, yeah. he sees that our team is trash. They get ca- uh, uh, salary cap tagged uh, two years in a row. So they're paying him a bunch of money to not be there. And then um, I, and Jeremy Atacho, I think, is a good rotational piece at linebacker. He'll come in and get you a couple sacks a season, seven to eight sacks. Um, so, I mean, they made a, a bunch of good moves on their defense, but their offense is going to be atrocious, man. Like, they don't have direction. Offensive coordinator switching, play call and duty switching. I'd give them a D. I think they had the worst offseason. They did a bunch of stuff, but they didn't do anything. It's like burning a bunch of popcorn. Like, you don't go to the you, – you, like, hey, man, I'm going to cook three bags of popcorn, but you burn two and a half of them. Like, that's not really that good, right? Yeah. Like, what are you going to do? So, I just feel like that's what they did. They burned popcorn this offseason. But – they did set themselves in the, in the future with that Matt Stafford trade. So I think they have – it's kind of a conundrum, man. It's a D for now because that's a team that was in a position to be competing for the playoffs. But their offense is going to be so bad, I don't see that happening. Yeah, absolutely. Isaac, what you got? Yeah, uh, to kind of go on your point, Doug, I just want to say I knew that the Vikings didn't have a clue what they were doing when they gave Kirk Cousins $90 million guaranteed. Um, guaranteed. Just- just to make sure I triple down on the Kirk Cousins slander. Cause you ain't never going to get an episode with me without Kirk Cousins getting slandered. Uh, you gave him $90 million and then doubled down and gave him another 60. I, you know what? You know, whatever. Um, I do like the Patrick Peterson signing. Um, I don't think he's over the hill yet. I think he has just enough left in the tank uh, to kind of help out in that secondary. Uh, it's an interesting signing. Um, but, I mean, Kirk Cousins is your quarterback. So, I mean, whatever you do. He's, he, the, he, he's the highlight. He, he's like, the highlight yeah. Of, like, of the points I gave him. Matter. Like, you're going to win. He's going to throw for, like, 300 yards, probably in, like, nine of your games. But you're going to win nine of your games. Like, that's about it. Like, yeah. dude, Kirk Cousins, man. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> like Mike said, uh, going on to the Bears, you signing <laughs> – 
<laughs> signing Andy Dalton and then naming him your starter. Why you already have Nick Foles in the team who's shown he can win a Super Bowl and win games. Not saying that's what he'll do with the Bears, but you got Andy Dalton. After, did you see how he played for Dallas? Like, the, yeah. that's what we're doing? You're saying you're not wanting to go to the plan. Like, yes, we are the Chicago Bears and we are tanking this season. That's what I'm getting from that. Um, I... Allen Robinson's out of there next year for sure, in my opinion, unless they throw the bag at him. Uh, D, I, that's really that's really all I can give him. I just don't see anything good from. So what all three of us are saying is that Packers going to win the division easy. Yeah, one hundred. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make a big bold prediction. Aaron Rodgers is leaving the Green Bay Packers after next year, and he's going to Washington. I said it. I said it. We'll we'll give you some weapons. It's tampering if anybody else says for you to come. Here. I'm not affiliated with the team. I'm telling you, Aaron, come on to DC. It's time to tune in. Now the another sports center. It's a movement.